Good morning, everybody. Why are you here? There are 390 people watching our Facebook app. Yay! Live right are you sure? Let me That's see. what it Hi, says. Everybody. It just went down to 350 oh, something. No. Are you guys lost? What are you looking for? What are we talking about? Is today? it us? Is it really Food. us? Food. Do you talk about fair. us when we're not here too? It's dropping by the second, Paul. Oh. Uh, <laughs> they they well, thought they were watching something great. Yeah. Like, oh. They thought it was something great. What else was great. on before us? I <laughs> scared away watching. like a <laughs> two thirds of the viewership just by asking why they were here. They're like, oh, no, never mind. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> Peace. Well, thanks to those of you who stuck well, around. Now you're at 88, you. Paul. Happy great, Thursday. great job. Well, don't deliver the bad news. We don't talk about it when the numbers are low. I was just going to hold a dramatic smile while I was said like, something, but then I was happening. This is why the people are leaving, darn it. No. Uh, anyway, hey guys, the State Fair is, uh, is oh coming my gosh. to town. And, and listen, I'm so happy. I know you are. And before Wait, you dive into it, it's very like actually, Annie the Musical. Just, just say it. Just name all the things that you Food. want. Because you've got a list. You've I do like have a list. Okay, this is what I'm I eat every notes, year at the State Fair. I've not Fair. been yet. Indian fried bread, yes. piggly wiggly fries, corn on the cob, a corn dog, a fried Oreo, and a piece of pizza. That's a, oh half, my gosh. that's a half a dozen things. Is the pizza on a stick or it's just regular? I just get the regular, but it's the thicker and it's a square. Yes. Thick, so it's not just regular. Yes. It's not I've just never a regular been. Pizza. I'm so excited. I'm planning to go on Saturday. Okay. So there are some delicacies Yay. at the Arizona State Fair. Right. You can only get here or in other places that okay. parties eat. Uh, by the way, if you love exotic uh, food dishes that are not great for you, especially if you love sliders, mm -hmm. White Castle's first Arizona restaurant is set to open on October 23rd. Oh, yeah. We don't have a White Castle? No. No. So our producers did some digging and found that the closest one is actually in Ohio. Well, that's okay. which I don't, I don't think is true at all. I, I think there's one in Las Vegas. There's one in Vegas. Yeah, there's a few in Vegas and a few in Reno. I, I think that that information is incorrect. Anyway, this location will be at the Talking Stick Entertainment District. It's off Terrific. Loop 101 oh, across nice. from Odyssey. Love Odyssey. So to, uh, to 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 celebrate the fact that we're going to have one of the worst fast food places in the world immediately available to it us. It tastes really good going down. It's awful. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. What is your favorite hometown food? Bonus points if you can't Wait. get it here. Because Arizona is like a fast food mecca. If you want fast food from anywhere, you can find it here. So wait, did you say you don't like food? White Castle? It is, that's not even food. No, White I Castle's agree with not you. Even so I, sorry, it's I was reading it. I it from our EP. But um, so no, I agree with you. I was in Chicago and everybody was going crazy about this. So when I they went, were we tried it and I did not like no, it. No, it's not good. No. And, and, it I is was worse like, than what? dog food. And I don't know if it's because it was just freezing in Chicago at the time when I was there. No, it's and not. I just the temperature does not improve it. I okay. wouldn't go out good. of my way to go get it, but I've had it many a night after many a cocktail. <laughs> I tell you what, that what? stuff is good. You have you had it? it? No, good. I have not had There's it. There's one right on Canal Street. They're like little Hawaiian off of rolls. Bourbon. Mm -hmm. It's perfect. With like a burger patty that is thinner than your credit mm -hmm. card, mm -hmm. with some gross onion that Ugh. we don't really know where it came from, yeah. and maybe a little bit of cheese, and then nothing else. That's all you need. Okay. What else do we have? I don't know, man. We got a lot. Of them. Producer of Courtney says that, that, that Ohio is the closest White Castle location. Really? Are we good. imagining the one in what? Vegas? I know. I could have sworn there was some Since in Nevada. I, as I told you, all my White Rock Castle Sam encounters. Likes a lot. I, yeah, a lot of people right, saying they like White not, Castle. I don't but I think what are the I've people saying? Vegas. A lot of people like what? it. Oh, oh, oh. Well, I mean, obviously, yes. if we're opening a location here in town, it has there to be popular. There is demand. Well, that's the thing about the Snowbirds, too, and all the transplants that come into Arizona is, is that they want their fast food that they had back they from do. wherever they're from. So, like, White Castle's a big deal in the Midwest. Uh, despite you know people against me railing against it. I'll tell you my biggest surprise when I moved out here. So I moved out here from Texas and everybody was like, oh man, you're going to have in and out You're not going to have Whataburger. It's going to be terrible. There's Whataburger here. And there so that was yeah. very yeah. exciting. That was a nice pleasant surprise I was not expecting. Wait, you're not saying Whataburger is better than in and out are well, you? No, that is a debate. No, But it's now that not. I don't live in Texas, I can say Ooh. I do think that in and out is better. Yeah, it's not even close. However, that is like unpatriotic of being a Texan. You can't say that. You can't say that out loud. Now, Whataburger is from Texas originally? Is that oh, its that. origins are in Texas? Okay, that makes okay, sense. Okay, the only, the only thing I have with Whataburger is that when you have to eat the fries in the car because by the time you take them home, they're cold and they don't taste good. Like where you, other fast food joints, you can wait till you get home yeah. and the fries are still warm still and they good. still taste good. But for some reason, Whataburger's fries like get they cold get soggy fast. And I'm yeah. like, what happened? in and out knows that its fries are better fresh. That's why they give you little carts so you can eat in your car like the yeah, I you love are. it. Yeah. I, just, I love it. Laura Johnson yeah, said Whataburger. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so the jalapeno cheeseburger, but mm. even better, I love their honey butter biscuits in the morning. Mm. Oh my God. There's nothing like that. Honey butter goodness in the morning. <laughs> Howard says Tony Packer 
Jacko's Chili Dogs. Any of you ever partake? Mm-hmm. I'm unfamiliar. How would you have to tell us what those are? I love are Chili are Dogs, though. Are those at the fair or are those anywhere? No, this is just food that people in general. Uh, they wish they could have out here. Ooh, Tom says In N Out is coming to Scottsdale in a couple of weeks. Really? Is it not in and out in Scottsdale? Mm-hmm. No. There's the one on Camelback in 20th. Yeah, that one's always busy. Yeah, that's oh, yeah. always busy. Yeah. Like, you one. can't even. Get food there because there's always a long uh, line. Clark's Donuts, Three Cousins Pizza, says Amanda. I'm mm. not familiar with either of those. Oh, maybe maybe because they're going for extra points outside of they the were, state. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> bonus, points, bonus points awarded Things as such. We don't. Know. Yeah. So here in Arizona, I agree. A lot of people are, are commenting on different Mexican food. I think Mexican food is very popular mm. here. Um, we have lots of great authentic restaurants here in but town. But no Tex-Mex. Oh, Roxanne's Tex-Mex, in on her no. conspiracy theory. She says every time we go to Vegas, we eat at the White Castle. <gasps> mm. Hashtag just saying. Right. Do we dream it? Do we eat fried Twinkies at the fair? I have had a fried Twinkie. Okay, because Laura goes for the fried Twinkie. They're saying it's on the side of a building and it's not a standalone, mm-hmm. but I feel like that still counts. It doesn't. If you can still get a White Castle <laughs> burger into your belly, it counts. Okay, wait. We're going to go back Courtney, to the Mexican thank food. You. Because Courtney, yeah, you guys go ahead. What do you got? Have yeah, put, uh, yeah we've got a lot of Mexican right food in here. Three people have put Rito's on here. Have you yeah. put Rito's yet? No. Is, is there, that good? Is that okay, for dough so Rito's? it's on, no. It's Rito's. The original location, I think, is mm-hmm. the best one. It's on okay. 16th Street in Garfield. Okay. A little mm-hmm. old school area. All right. Okay. Um, but they ha- it's a house. <laughs> An old school area? I'm going to call it old school. It's a little. little dicey. Older. Um Okay. Like a lot of older people live there? Or? Like an older community, <laughs> older okay. homes. Okay, but well that's older, okay. You know, um, not older people. I'm going to write community. it down. Rito's. Okay. I just like making you squirm. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm trying to be nice, Paul. Um, okay, so it's a, it's a house, right? It's all out of a house, and it's like a family-owned business, and literally the line is out the door during lunch it's for people to go eat. You can't eat inside. They only have patio, or you take it back to work or whatever, but they have tacos and burritos, and they are amazing. Seriously. Like, is that, that's over in the Garfield historic. Yes neighborhood mm. so what you're saying by old it was historic we did the, the story welcome diner the other day which is out there uh, about a mile away from where you're talking kind of close to yeah, yeah it's yeah, on yeah, 16th yeah. street versus 9th street the other one's on 9th street uh carolinas says laura that's I, good mexican yeah. food or isn't it carolinas carolinas Carolina. Carolina. yeah because my dad goes to that a lot <laughs> they have a good tortillas so they make fresh tortillas, yes. and if you just go over there and buy those tortillas, they're amazing. Seriously. Okay. Um, Robert says Portillo's Chicago Dogs. Ooh, That's a I big love deal those. Out in Chicago. Mm. Mm. I get that every time I go to the ballpark for a oh. D-backs game. Yeah, they, <gasps> yes, we have that there. Now. No ketchup, right? Is that the? The I, other way around. You know, it's no got, ketchup. I get no ketchup. Chili che- it's yes. chili cheese and onion, or at least that's yeah. how I get mine. You can put mustard, mustard on it. Mustard on it's okay. <laughs> uh, um, no mustard, no ketchup. No. We got another one here that made me laugh. Uh, oh, where is it? Oh, man, I lost it. You There's so many good ones. I know I'm trying to find. Oh, Diana's a top fan. She says she doesn't like the fries in and out I'm with you on that, actually. I don't get fries when I go to in and out I just don't. Hmm. I, we get it, but it's just kind of like, an, eh, my husband and I will share it. But no, the key is the burger, for sure. Animal style. Animal style. Animal style oh, that's what home. he gets. I just go classic. I'm mm. so hungry right now. I'm so hungry. Yeah. Yeah, this is an awful idea for people who haven't I know. Eaten. At least bring food out. Oh, red so chili, like- green chili. Oh, both. Both. Yeah. both? One of each. Christmas. I do one of each. Christmas. Mm-hmm. You like red chili or green chili? Burrows. Um, probably green. I'm a red girl. I like yeah. red chili. So when I go to like a place like Gadzooks, it's like I'll have all the sauces yes. and I'll have all the sauces and I'll have mm-hmm. all of the cheeses and I'll have all of the... It's just like, just load it up, man. That place is like really cheese. good. My husband kept telling me, you got to go to this place. And I'm like, why is he so excited about this I need place? to go back. When I finally mm-hmm. went. It was really good. Yeah. yeah. It'll burn a hole in your stomach, that habanero salsa. But It's it worth it. Oh, the one time I went, I wasn't a huge fan. So I need to go back, I guess, and give it another try. Okay, so what other places like that you guys either grew up on it isn't here anymore or like a place you've had when you've been on the road that like you wish was here because mm. i can think of a couple like a- mm. elias big boy for me growing up in the midwest uh, like i miss a big oh boy. my gosh i've only seen that in the oh, movies somebody well, else just deal. said that oh whoever said big boy I yeah hear you. shout out uh i used to eat at that salad bar and those burgers all the time it's not uh you ate salad salad there? There? yeah they have a salad bar <laughs> oh no it's bob's big burger uh, I think what Bob's the same Laura miss yeah, Laura, yeah, yeah. Laura Johnson misses that, yeah. You know what we used to have here? Lubies. Does anybody remember Lubies out there? Like the it cafeteria? Was, it was a cafeteria. Yes. Restaurant. But you I the blue and platter. Love it because my um, grandparents used to always take mm-hmm. me there. It was like the thing. It's all like, talk about an older <laughs> establishment. It was like all blue hairs with yeah. full respect to blue hairs. Right, but right. it was like you gotta get the blue and platter with yes. the fish and the yes. two on the and side. And the rolls were so good. Oh my gosh. I used to love that. They are they're fewer of them though because I know we don't have a lot back home either I feel like there's like one or two 
Then what Sheila's mad at us. She's like, guys, now I want some Arizona Mexican food, and I'm 2,000 miles away. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, Michelle's saying A&W. Yes, A&W as well. Root beer float. I've seen those, okay. but I've never eaten at one. Yeah, burgs are okay. They have like a little drive up, at least the ones back where I'm from. It was, you know, get get your roller skates out and be a, you were. A, I was a car hop, yeah, but it's Sonic. Say, Sonic. 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 Oh, yeah. we just went to Sonic in beautiful Mesa last weekend. Ah. That was a nice treat. Ryan dropping <laughs> Arthur Treacher's. I think that's known as What's Long that? John Silver's now. Oh, really? Oh, my formerly gosh. Arthur Treacher's. Yeah. Oh, yikes. Okay. Yeah, that's a throwback right there. Yeah. All right, let's take a quick break from this, get to our ICY. Okay. If you missed today in AZ this morning, you missed this. Finally, in other news, turns out fast food is slowing down. Waits at the drive-thru are getting longer. Customers spend an average of 255 seconds from speaker to order window in what 2019. Is that, four minutes and change? It's four and a half minutes, yeah. which doesn't seem long, right? But in 2018, that number was closer to four minutes. When you're hungry, those extra seconds can feel like forever. Apparently, it's because orders are getting more complex and lines are getting more crowded with people who are picking up mobile orders. The fastest, Dunkin' Donuts. I was surprised by this, Paul. Chick-fil-A is the slowest. Well, they take their time with everything. They're, they're very careful about it. they've the got the sandwiches. multiple lanes. They have the people meeting you at your car window. The KFC in my hometown back in Michigan is the slowest drive through ever. I often wonder if maybe we just rolled up and there's nobody working there. Or there's like one employee <laughs> There's always the like shop. one guy in there. It back. is like a half an hour investment. And there's nothing worse than like being halfway through a drive through line and just thinking, I have made a horrible mistake. You got to really want that chicken. Fast food, my butt. Still ahead on today. <laughs> I was hoping I wouldn't have to hear myself Your say that butt. again. I mean, sometimes you just want to say, like, my ass, but you can't because you're on television. So yeah, but now you can. Butt. But we're on the after show. We're on the internet now, so we could say the other word. Are you saying the fast food goes straight to your butt? Well, that too. Yeah. <laughs> but sometimes fast is... Uh, it's, it's not fast mm. at all. No, though. I was sort of like disappointed about that Chick fil A came in last. I do not believe that. I want to contest they it. They are pretty fast. I think they're so fast. Yeah. Like, you can pay at the window. They've got two lanes going. Mm -hmm. They're the people that Outside, come out yeah, and talk to you. you. And it's not like you really have special orders. Like, believe me, when I go to other places, burgers with my kids, we do special orders. It's so annoying. Those What's people. the dumbest special order you have to make? <laughs> oh, with my kids? Yeah. Well, basically, they just want it's. I'm like, meat and bun. Yeah. Literally, I mean, you don't want cheese on that? No. Then I'd say meat, mm. cheese, and bun now, wouldn't I? <laughs> and then you have to explain Look at to them. the fast food workers. Every time, they're like, ma'am, if we write plain on there, it means it's going to be a hamburger. I'm like, you have to write plain, no cheese. Plain minus cheese. Just write it. They're like, no, nope, ma'am, I'm telling you, plain means <laughs> I hug it to the top, and what do they do? They There's cheese it on it. There's cheese on it. Well, I don't know why I'm like, oh my god, it's that's a pain in my existence. Why don't my kids eat cheese? I God only knows. They <laughs> I love eat cheeseburgers. I don't understand it. I'm like, how do you eat cheese pizza, but you don't eat cheese? So I have that same problem at Taco Bell. Yes, I know there are a lot of other. Mexican restaurants here and I love all those as well but, but. I do go to Taco Bell every once in a while and so I get a beef chalupa but uh -huh. I just want beef beans and cheese mm -hmm. so it normally Easy comes enough. with like sauce onions and other things and so every time I tell them that they're like wait what and I'm like I want a beef chalupa with just beef beans and cheese that's it and I have to literally repeat myself like five times and they're like okay so painful. <laughs> it's like a big deal to do that why one. don't no. you order something better Oh, what is your go to <laughs> again? That's, that's well, I, I'm a sucker for the promotional items when they roll out because <laughs> Taco Bell's really the only fast food place that I would say I frequent. And by that, I mean I go like <laughs> once a month, maybe, maybe once every three And weeks. Arby's? No, Arby's is an extreme rarity. I think about the meats a lot more than I actually get them because there's not one really uh, close to me. I was going to so say, it's you an have Arby's to go adventure. out of your way. Yeah, it's yeah, like unless I'm in that area, and then it's really dangerous if I see the sombrero because I always want a roast beef and cheddar. Is it but, a sombrero? Is it in a cowboy hat? Yeah, it is a cowboy hat. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know much about weird. headwear. Yeah, that would be very <laughs> I was weird. like, that's kind of odd. I'm Most like, Arby's. why would they have a sombrero at Arby's? <laughs> I need some totally, sleep. I got Sorry. so confused right now. I thought now. about it for a second. Like, like, what? Are you what that's what a in the big world are you talking hat. about? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anyway, uh, no, 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 but uh, Taco Bell, have you had the Cheesy Gordita Crunch? No. You should have the Cheesy Gordita Crunch. Have you had the Quesarito? Oh. Have you had a beefy five layer burrito and add rice to it? You can add Fritos. Don't look at me. Don't look at me, but I don't know. I don't you know, know. I, I know keep it simple. I go and get yeah, there's like four meal. items. <laughs> I get the triple layer nachos, a regular uh, taco, a soft taco, and the beef chalupa. Oh, what a debate. But beef chalupa only? With yeah, beans beef? and cheese. Beans. Uh, steak and shake. Are there steak and shakes in Arizona? I don't, I haven't seen one, but oh, I love Darcy steak loves and steak and shake. Yeah, me that too. That was like the hangout for us mm -hmm. before we were of drinking oh. ages. People would just go hang out at steak and shake. 
What about oh. rallies? Do you guys like rallies? It's still around. I'm Is this still rallies. around? Rallies and checkers, the same place. Ooh. Yeah, no, never fries. Heard of checkers. Well, it depends yeah, on where you're checkers, at. Yeah. Rallies and checkers, they're interchangeable. Okay. Checkers, the seasoned curly fries, look out. Those are good. There's only a shakes. few locations left in the valley, but there used to be one right by Maryville High School, and that's where I went. Mm. And so all the kids would walk over there to rallies and have yeah. the longest line. But I just remember that was like, we loved their burgers at the yes. time when we were growing up in high school. So good. Does anybody uh, like salad and go? I love salad and go. I've never, I've never tried, it. tried it. It's good. I pass by one every day, but I've not tried I it. I need to check that. Although out. I'm mad they got rid of some of the ones I really like. So like there's what? no. Bring them back. There's no salada here, right? Did you guys have salada? It's like basically, mm -hmm. it's like a Chipotle, but for salads. It's amazing. Oh, mm -hmm. oh no. I, I want one. Yeah, it's awesome. So I figured this, the salad to go, this what it's called? What's it called? Yeah, salad, salad to go. go. So you, go. Salad and go. Yeah, you just pull up and they're real fast. Is it fresh and quick yes, and it's good? Yes, it's really fast. Okay. All right. Do you I'm have sure. to pick like a pre-made salad or can you just I know. Like, no, um, I change things up. Yeah. It's awesome. But they have it on the menu. Mm -hmm. And then you can save money by not getting um, yeah. utensils. They're like, yeah. do you want utensils? If they're trying to push towards being more, yeah, sustainable and not having to... Uh, producer Courtney says there is a Steak and Shake in Tempe. Oh, So what? if you need that Steak and Shake fix, go out there and there get it. There you go. The college kids know. Uh, anyone remember Googie's? They had one in the old Tower Plaza, says Peggy. I do not remember that. I think that's before my time yeah. out here. Sizzler. Laura wrote Sizzler. Sizzler. Oh, Sizzler. <laughs> I used to go there with my family. My, did you guys mess with back OCB in the day? back in the day? Old Country Buffet? Oh, no. oh, I've never seen one. Not really, but yeah, that was another thing back in my hometown. Not out of here. Wait, can I just point out that the three of us were talking about unhealthy food, and then Crystal. Goes I know. Down. <laughs> the salad place. The salad 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 like, no, I've never been there. I want to drink grease straight from the grease trap. <laughs> Paul just did the entire Taco Bell menu. White House is gross. Add Fritos to your burritos, kids. <laughs> Wait. So then, what is your favorite food? What is your go-to food here in AZ? Because you grew up here too. Fresh yeah. air? Are you, are you talking about fast food or? I mean, just what a restaurant or a place to go to. Um, well, let's see. You're growing up in Gilbert, Joe's Barbecue is oh, a big yes. one. Oh, yes. I haven't Joe's been Barbecue. there, but I heard it's amazing. Very, very good. So that that was a big one. Um, I know we used to love to go to Riazzi's in Tempe. That's no longer here. So maybe mm -hmm. I get extra points for not being yeah. here anymore. Um, is that right? Was it by Tempe Beach Park? Uh, I mean, Tempe. The it was, uh, I want to say, rural and university ish area. Okay. Oh, I forget. But yeah, and then uh, Monty's was another big one my parents liked to go that's what to. I was of. Yeah. Um, th that's not here any longer. Those were kind of the, you know, Makayos. Those were kind of the things growing up that uh, that we went to. Garcia's um, is popular too here in town. It, that's it's right. Good Mexican food. Uh, yeah. David chimes in and says, La Casita used to be on Central and Buckeye a long time ago. Now it's Casa Reynoso on Mill and Southern. Tasty Freeze, best ice cream mm. back in the day. Tasty I would buy two freeze. shakes, freeze them, and eat them after my siblings would go to sleep so I didn't have to share. Smart, Smart move guy. there, David. Pro like move. That. that is a pro move. Um, yeah, hide it. While I've got you guys, I know we got to wrap the show up here. Okay. Is there a good Mongolian place anywhere? So, like, I miss BD's Mongolian Barbecue. It's a specific brand of, like, a Mongolian restaurant. That's big out in the Midwest. It doesn't exist out here, but I want Mongolian, but I don't know where to go. And sometimes if you go into like a legit Mongolian place, it's like not what I want, actually. Oh. I want like the Americanized <laughs> Mongolian barbecue experience, okay. if that makes sense. It actually does. Yeah. I just want to bring up, Brian brought up a hot dog on a stick. Mm. I remember that place. It was good. Well, Those are usually in the fair. mall, right? Yeah, in the yeah, malls. The mall. And then the people had to wear these colorful yeah. hats. They had really then, good lemonade. Yes, they had to do yes. fresh lemonade. Oh and so my gosh. I wouldn't have worked there. My cousin did. But you had to, like, do the Physically lemonade yeah, there in front of everybody. And it was just kind of, like, awkward. I'd be like, oh, <laughs> yeah. oh my gosh. A couple of people saying good Bonanza. Luck. Dan Iverson saying that. And then uh, we had a couple others <gasps> Uh, Diana, yeah. Sal's Pizza in Gilbert. Yes, oh. Russell. Uh, my, we used to frequent there, too, and my parents still do. They have the, it, don't let the name fool you. It's not just great pizza, great Italian food. Sal's amazing and his wife, and they have the best, um, um, I'm drying a blank on the Italian, um, cannolis. Oh. oh, like hard dipped in oh chocolate gosh. with the cream cheese and the, oh, oh my gosh. I thought you were making balloon animals. So, yes, I, I was know. going for calzone. <laughs> Oh, yeah, they've got amazing <laughs> they thick pizza, thin pizza, amazing garlic knots. Are they still around? They oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay. My parents go there very frequently. Oh, and nice. I'm, I no longer live in Gilbert, so I don't frequent there as much as I used to. But I love them anytime I'm in town. I do love them. You guys are fantastic very good. this morning. Sometimes we on Thursday, the viewers are a little Gloria, cranky. Yes. Cause because we're talking about food. Right. They're like, they're like, no, 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 no. We're going to share recommendations like for restaurants. It. 
as long as you guys want to yeah. talk about it. We need it. I love it. Support yes, local restaurants. Yeah, yes. I, seriously, go check out Rito's. Everybody has to. If you Rito's? Guys, yes, you guys have to do it. You're going to love it. It is delicious. Okay, All right, let's get it's some on fresh my list. Just before we say goodbye, Rachel. All right. Well, if you cannot get enough of the Fresh <laughs> Prince of Bel-Air, <laughs> the Fresh what? Prince <laughs> could be moving right into your closet. Oh, I'm what? good. I've had enough, thanks. Yes, Will Smith released photos of his new clothing <laughs> line, Bel-Air Athletics. What? I'm loving the tracksuit. The line includes t-shirts, sweatshirts, gym accessories. Um, look, if you know someone who loves the Fresh <laughs> Prince, his line is actually on sale right now at Will Smith. Dot com. So Dang. I thought this was a spoof at first. Yeah, yeah that like, shirt on the no right way is the this most 90s-looking thing I've oh, ever absolutely. seen. Oh, absolutely. I would totally rock the tracksuit, though. I love a good tracksuit. Look at him making moves. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, you know what? I need more money. I'm still yeah, going to milk this whole Fresh line. Prince thing. Why not? I love him. I still think of him as that every time I watch him. Yeah, oh, movie. totally. <laughs> I wonder oh who owns the licensing for that. Like, I bet that was complicated to get. Mm -hmm. These are the weird things that I think about when I see a on sale. Like, I wonder how we got the rights to use that. I know, because he was like kind of an unknown back then. Well, he was just a rapper. A couple more. Uh, Barrio Cafe from Hayden, one of our social mm -hmm. guys. Oh, Barrio. <gasps> Rigatoni's. Yeah, Rigatoni's. Barrio yes. Cafe. One of my favorites, too. Rigatoni's. Very oh, Barrio good. Cafe. A lot of people have told me to go check out that. So that's on that 16th Street and yes. Thomas. For Mexican food, right? Uh-huh. That's the yeah. original one, and that is really mm -hmm. good, too. A little, uh, a little fancy, like a date night place, definitely. But not fancy schmancy, just regular Not fancy schmancy, but a little bit it. fancy. So it's not like you're going into these other little mom right. and pop uh, Mexican shops. Leave your yeah. tracksuit at home. Yes. <laughs> you know. Oh, well, they make you walk dress up your tracksuit, Paul. Right Don't your table. Doubter. Ooh, okay, so next time oh, take a date that. there. They make guacamole right at your table. It's super cool. Drinks are good, oh, yeah. but a little pricey. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. So yeah, it's definitely a date place or like going with a bunch of girlfriends or friends. That sounds fun. I, know. I don't know about a whole bunch of guys going. I'd see like a whole bunch of girls going. All right, before we go, I got to get my one pizza recommendation is. Uh, so there's a ton of Neapolitan pizza in Phoenix. Mm -hmm. Like you can get it anywhere and get really good Neapolitan pizza in a bunch of places close to downtown. In my experience, People Pizza Pub Central and just oh, before Thomas. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's so good. Like, I, I've never had a bad pizza from that place. I only had it at a Is this a, a deep festival. dish situation? No, it's very no. thin. Neapolitan pizza. Okay, okay. Yeah, I yeah. don't know what that means. Okay, and then tomorrow is National Taco Day. Yes, tell the Friday. people what we got. So the Taco Festival is coming up the following weekend. So we are having a food truck here. A taco food truck in the after show tomorrow. Don't miss it. We're going to give you all the details on what's going on with the so Taco So if you're festival. strolling by 2nd Street in Van Buren, um, you and you see us it's outside eating tacos, that's I'm why. so hungry now. I know. And I'm on a diet. I can't eat till 10. <laughs> P.M. See you later, guys. <laughs> that would be awful. Bye. Go eat some good tomorrow food. Tomorrow at 7.30. See you then. So what's it called?